Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So I'm here today to talk about the S22 series phones. This right here is the S22 Plus. I happen to have all three of them, the Plus, the regular one, and the Ultra. And I wanna talk about something important because you might not think about this, and it's something that could really be problematic for your phone, and that is micro abrasions, little surface scratches on your screen. Now I noticed this today, I installed a screen protector on here. One thing I recommend doing have a screen protector ready to go as soon as you buy the phone so you can put it on there straight out of the box and you'll never have to worry about this. But you do have to worry about it because the S22 series phones do not come with a screen protector factory installed. And this is the first time they've done this. Last year that they had one, all the years prior they had one for a very, very long time. It was always something nice you could depend on. You can't depend on that anymore. And the thing is, is yes, it has Gorilla Glass Victus Plus. But the thing with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus is it's supposed to be better for shatterproof and dropping it and cracking and things like that. What it doesn't do is give you extra scratch resistance for micro abrasions. And do you know what those are? I'm gonna explain it real quick. And a lot of times you get them just from carrying it around in your pocket. And I've got a story here about mine because mine is riddled with micro abrasions and I hardly even use the phone. In fact, I traveled to MWC, Mobile World Congress here last week and I took the phone with me. I got it just before I left, so I didn't have time to get a case. I didn't have time for a screen protector. So in traveling, so I didn't have to carry the box with me, I put it inside of just a regular sock and put it inside my backpack to try and keep it from getting scratched. And it did. It kept it from getting dinged and scratched and messed up. But putting it in just a cotton sock left it riddled with micro abrasions all over the screen. And I can't capture that on the video. They're small, you can't really see them unless you look at the phone, you kind of turn it, you catch them in the light, you'll find them all over your screen if you don't put protection on it. There were advancements made in surface strength, I guess, up until about Gorilla Glass 3, and then it never really got any better. Gorilla Glass 4, 5, 6, Victus, all that stuff is more shatter resistant and more deep scratch resistant. So it's funny because you could take something, you could take a plastic tool, you could take different metal tools, whatever, and up until like a number six or a seven, you don't really get any scratches on the screen. That's pretty common. That's pretty decent protection, but it doesn't protect it from the tiny little ones it gets in the surface. And that, it kind of reminds me of titanium. Whenever I got married, my wife and I, I got, I have a titanium wedding band. And the thing with titanium is it has a very, very, very strong tensile strength, meaning you can't break it, you can't cut through it, you can't snap it in half. But what happens is you get these little, these little tons and tons and tons of little scratches right on the surface of the metal that you can't even really buff out. And that's the same kind of principle here. Gorilla Glass Victus Plus is very strong. It's very durable. It's very resistant to, if you drop it, it cracks and shatters, things like that. That's good, but the ultimate problem is here is if you don't put a screen protector on it, you will get lots of these micro abrasions. It's an inevitable reality, and you'll get them from doing something as simple as putting it in your pocket. Now, I know this. That's why I didn't want to put it in my pocket. That's why I didn't want to carry it. So I thought, hey, I'll go ahead and put it inside of a nice, clean Nike cotton sock and put it in my backpack. I took it over there. I didn't even have time to use it. This isn't something where I took it out, I put it in my pocket, I used it for a couple of hours. No, never been in my pocket. Never been anywhere other than inside that little sock, and there was probably 50, 60 of these micro abrasions all over the screen. And again, I didn't really notice it until I went to go put the screen protector on, and then as I used the screen protector, I got my flashlight out just to make sure there was no dust and stuff, and I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing has tons of these little micro abrasions all over the screen. This is something that irks me tremendously because I know they're there. It frustrates me. I don't want them there. And it's not something that's an apparent scratch. But if you use the phone and you see it, you'll catch them in the light. You'll see them at different angles. And it's something that gets all over screen. The iPhones are bad about this too. Even though they have their new ceramic shield, the ceramic shield is very, very prone to getting these little scratches basically from nothing. You could get something like a, a cotton shirt and you're going to be able to scratch the surface of the screen even though it doesn't make a deep scratch on it. And that's not something they really have coating on or protect against. So I wanted to do this as a PSA, a public service announcement to let you guys know, put a screen protector on it straight out of the box. And normally that's what I do. That's what I did with my S22 Ultra. It's what I did with my Pixel 6, my Pixel 6 Pro. Anytime I get a new phone, I always have one ready to go. I didn't pre-order the S22 and S22 Plus, and which is why I didn't have one because when I went to T-Mobile and got it, I wasn't gonna pay $40, $50 for one of their screen protectors there. That's a ridiculous amount of money. When you can get them on Amazon, you can pay very, very little. You can get them for eight bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. There's a lot of different options. I'll have some options listed down in the description. So if you wanna grab one there, 
It's an affiliate link. If you buy one there, it gives a kickback to the channel. You don't have to use them, of course. But I want to go ahead and highlight that because I don't want you to be in the same position that I'm in. And this has not been a position I've really been in before. Again, like I said, I always install something straight out of the box, but I just wanted to see if I could get one. I ran down to Best Buy. They didn't have any S22s or Pluses. So I went next door to T-Mobile. They did have some. I got both of them while I was there, and then that's what I did to keep it safe in lieu of having a protector. And then I ended up with dozens and dozens of these micro abrasions all over the screen. And it's very, very frustrating because you wouldn't think that simple cotton material would scratch up your screen because it's supposed to be so protective. It's, it's supposed to be so great, right? This Gorilla Glass Victus, Victus Plus, all that good stuff. This is the first one that has Victus Plus. So food for thought, PSA, have one available, get one ready as soon as you get the phone so you can put it on there. Because if you don't, yes, it may be still pretty protective if you drop it on the ground. Yes, it may be pretty protective if you try to actually scratch it with something, but it's not protected against micro abrasions. And that's something that I think is a little bit ridiculous. We really haven't gotten much of an improvement for the surface of the screen for micro abrasion protection in a very, very, very long time. So yeah, it's good for regular scratches, but it's not good for that. And then you might find yourself in the position that I'm in. So I wanted to share my experience, let you guys know, go ahead and do that, protect your phone, because that's something that you can't protect against unless you put a screen protector on it. And it's very frustrating, especially since they don't put a screen protector on it straight out of the box. So that's all I've got. Hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this saves you from some heartache and keeps you from getting the screen on your phone, these little micro abrasions, which are very pesky and very annoying. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know how annoying they are. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.